Welcome to this demonstration of a new technology, PET scan images, now with digital cytology. To get started, make sure your scanner is connected to the network and has been powered on. Next, we're going to move over to our practice information management software and locate the animal's chart and medical record for who we are going to run the test. In this case, we're going to enter the treatment code for cytology for a test for Cody, a dog with a patient ID of 1328. The next step is to prepare a cytology slide using industry best practices. After properly preparing your slide and allowing it to air dry, you will need to stain your slide. Once a slide is prepped and stained, add a cover slip. Refer to our how-to videos on preparing a cytology slide in the user's guide. Include a meaningful label or handwritten text on the slide. Keep the slides together and well organized. Now log in to VetScan Images. Select Start for the correct sample. Sample information will become pre-populated from any Fuse connected software system. If no integration is available, select the Add New Test icon. Enter the required information and select Create. With VetScan Imagist, you have access to fecal parasite tests, and now you have access to digital cytology as well. Next, enter information for the patient's breed, age, and gender. The patient's species is already set. Include a brief clinical history. Next, click on either add fluid or add lesion. Complete the required information. And click on Create. You may create up to two different sites. Click on a sample card to open and edit a sample site. Next, click Add a Scan. When the scan window opens, select a scanner. The next step is to place a slide on the scanner stage. Now, before you can place a slide, the stage needs to be in an open position. If it's closed, you can return to VetScan Images and click on the open tray button. With the locking mechanism open, place the slide with the label towards the right of the stage and make sure that it's face up on the stage and then close the locking mechanism. Return to VetScan Images and click on the preview button. When the preview appears, review the suggested scan area and the estimated time to scan. If both are acceptable, click Continue, and the scanner will take it from there. You can create up to two sites and have a maximum of four scans between the two sites. When you've completed scanning all the slides, click Close. Prior to submitting the order, you can attach additional files that the pathologist might find useful. Click Attach Files and upload any JPEG or PDF. When those files have been uploaded, click Close and then click Submit Order. Your test order has now been submitted. At the top of the inbox, you're going to notice four tabs. One is labeled Ready for Review. When a pathologist has finished reviewing your test order, the results will appear under that tab. If you find your specific test order and click on the review button, the report will open in the report viewer. Anyone can review the results within VetScan Images with a shareable PDF report. And if you scroll to the bottom of the screen, you can acknowledge the report. This indicates that you have seen the report and it'll move it from the ready to review tab to the test history tab. Once the results have transferred over, the report can be accessed from within VetScan Fuse, next to other diagnostic results. And finally, the report is sent to your patient information management software for Cody, 
patient number 1328. This completes the test order.